We're here with Congresswoman Ayanna Presley coming off a hot speech down mm -hmm. on a uh, beautiful summer night here in Somerville, yeah. 2019 City of Somerville Democratic City Caucuses. Representative, the importance of the local caucuses. Yeah, it's everything, and I have to say, I'm not at all surprised that this auditorium is as filled as it is um, on a gorgeous, uh, you know, night when people could be anywhere else in the world. They chose to be here, and that is uh, such a testament and so uh, consistent with. Um, the residents of Somerville and just how seriously they take not just their politics and democracy but community and they're always coming together you know um, uh, to build that and you know I have to say that uh, this is always the room in the community where I get the toughest questions but it's also where I find the fierce fiercest warriors and partners in racial social economic green and gender justice this is um, really uh, ground zero for that so I'm grateful um, these are folks who participate in every election and the thing that I really appreciate about Somerville is that um, everyone brings someone else along. I, I don't, I've invited, I have a youth advisory council, I've done uh, transit equity summits, I've done public health summits, and whenever Somerville is represented, um, maybe I invited a particular person, but they always bring people with them into the tent and enlist them in the cause. And that's very unique to Somerville. We're here with United States Senator Ed Markey. Senator Markey, thanks for coming back to Somerville, as Love always, it. the 2019 caucus. I want to ask you, in your opinion, the importance of these local caucuses? Well, Paul Revere on Patriot's Day rode through um, uh, Somerville on his way to Lexington so that we could protect uh, individual communities' ability to have their own views mm -hmm. and not be suppressed by a monarch or dictators, and that's what Somerville really embodies. That's what this caucus is all about here tonight, to really reflect here the voices of everyone. So um, I love it. It's participatory democracy at its best, uh, and that's what Somerville is now, And it's, but it's what it always has been. And we've been following closely all the work that you've been doing down in D.C., to kind of fend off the FCC trying to defund public access television. Talk a little bit more about your work with it. Well, community access uh, TV is at the heart, again, of localism, in the same way these caucuses are at the heart of the issue of localism. And so to the extent to which the FCC uh, intends on allowing for a looting of those funds so that we won't have the sufficient capacity uh, for local access channels to cover events like this uh, in every community across the country, it would just be wrong and a violation of the um, of the goals that were established in the 1984 Cable Act. We, and I know that, that to be the case because I was there in Boney mm -hmm. Fighting hard for us. Senator Markey, thanks so much. Thank you, sir. Thanks See you in here. Somerville again. And thank you for being here. Well, I'm here today at the Somerville Democratic City Caucus and, and just want to say that I think this local participation is incredibly important right now, uh, particularly with what we're seeing around issues like abortion, uh, we're seeing many states uh, go in a backward direction, and I just think it's really important for us to show up on the local level uh, to make sure we advance progressive values and, and the values uh, that Somerville residents support. So this is the most local level of the Democratic Party. So for everyone who's been thinking about how to get involved in politics for the first time, this is where the rubber meets the road. That's why I love the Democratic Caucus. Uh, we meet in high school cafeterias, in school auditoriums. This is where uh, folks who have always wondered how it works can really get involved. Everything that our community cares about is under attack uh, like it hasn't been in our lifetimes. And this is a time to come together. I think um, it's important for the activism to go on in the streets, but I think it's also important for it to happen within the Democratic Party so that this energy can make it all the way up to Washington. It's definitely important because we have to represent our elected officials and support them in everything that they do for the community. Oh, it speaks that Somerville is headed in the right direction in supporting uh, government officials and trying to make this a desirable city for people to come live in. We're here with Mayor Joe Curtitoni at the 2019 Somerville Democratic City Committee caucuses. Joe, how important are the caucuses when it comes to how this city is operating within the context of the state and the national arena? Well, at a time when our democratic institutions are under assault, 
uh, by the highest authority in our land, there's no better way not only to protect them but to enhance those institutions by participating in your local caucuses or your elections or state elections. So I, I, across the country in cities and towns, uh, we're seeing this play out. And no matter what your party affiliation out, to be participating in this important civic um, exercise is critical to advancing those institutions.